Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we have Roberto, who is an insurance agent who sells two types of policies. He has a $50,000 policy and a $100,000 policy. Last month, his goal was to sell at least 57 insurance policies. He did not meet his goal, but the total value of the policy sold was over $3 million. So we're asked what system of inequalities describes this situation where X is the number of 50,000 and Y is the number of $100,000 policies. So we're told that he, his goal was to sell at least 57, right? He wants to have sales at least 57, means that, that he wanted his sales to be greater than or equal to 57. We're told that he did not meet his goal. So the actual sales were less than 57. And if he had two types of policies, the $50,000 policy and the $100,000 policy, the total sales are gonna be the number of $50,000 policies he's had plus the number of $100,000 policies. And if the 50,000 is X and the 100,000 is Y, then X plus Y combined for the total sales because those are the only two types of policies that he has. So X plus Y was less than 57. Okay, so that's gonna be our first inequality. The second one we have is the total value of the policy sold was over $3 million. So the value was over $3 million is greater than 3 million. How do we calculate the value? Well, it's gonna be the value of the 50,000 plus the value of the $100,000 policies. And when you add the two values of all of these combined, you get 3 million. So how do you find the total value of the $50,000 policies? Well, it's gonna be the total number of policies times the price of one. Same thing with the $100,000 policies. You take the number of policies that there are and you multiply it by the price of one. For example, if you had five policies and they were $10 each, your total value would be five times 10 or 50. Same thing here, see that we're dealing with much bigger numbers. So the total number of $50,000 we're told is X times the price of one is obviously it's a $50,000 policy, so the price is $50,000. The number of $100,000 policies is Y. And again, the price is just in the name. And just to make this a little bit uh, clearer, we have X times 50,000 is 50,000 X plus y times 100,000 is $100,000 y, and this is greater than 3 million. And this is our other inequality. So if we have x plus y is less than 57, and 50,000 x plus 100,000 y is greater than 3 million, then that is going to line up with b, or sorry, uh, with c because we want x plus y is less than 57. So C is gonna be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.